Look at this. That's probably a bucket full right there. Everybody, what you can see is I am in a tree well not really I'm on the ground but we are out picking cherries today mom and I and we have friends that have an orchard and they're like come pick cherries we've got lots of them let me show you what we got here just take a look at all of these cherries I mean it's unbelievable the harvest this year is just crazy i mean look at the clusters of cherries it's gorgeous so we're busy picking and we'll show you later what we're gonna do with it all there's mom hiding in the tree picking those cherries and in the bucket they go so just an amazing harvest hi hot and sweaty been picking lots of cherries but i had to show you this i mean look at this that's probably a bucket full right there. It is unbelievable. Can't get, wait to get home and start processing all of these. So mom's in there picking up a storm. When's the last time you picked cherries like this, mom? Never. Never? <laughs> but mom used to pick cherries when she was a kid and she's never seen trees loaded like this because she grew up here in the Okanagan such pretty trees. Okay, it's me again. We just picked our cherries, but we're now we're at the fruit stand. And this is the fruit stand. It's loud. Fruit stand that our friends own Blossom. Let me just take you on a tour. So Blossom fruit stand is located in Trout Creek. And that's halfway, well, about halfway between Penticton and Summerland. They have been here, oh, it's gotta be 50 years. More than that. Uh, they've been here as long as I've been born. And they've been family friends since then. So let's just take a quick look in here. So peaches, the peaches are out now. It's, whoops, there we go. Peaches are out now. They've got some small apples. There are jams and spreads and all sorts of lovely stuff. You got some goodies here and then over here. They have Summerland sweet products, a different kind of fire roasted tomato salsa. Ooh, I'm gonna have to try that. And all sorts of dressings. I love to come here and find some interesting dressings. And then there's even canned goods as well. So let's just go take a look at the fruit. So this is the vegetable section and fruit. You can get cherries by the bucket. Um, they're, they're really good. I just ate a bunch of uh, garlic. Ooh, I'll have to get some garlic too. Potatoes. Then they have their cold, crisp fruit vegetables section over there. You can even get something cold to drink. Got onions and different kinds of vinegar brewery. Oh, looks good. True taste of Tuscany, basil, natural sweeteners. Wow. Okay. I'm going to have to be back here and pick up stuff. So tomatoes are in as well and it's just a great place to shop. They've got zucchinis and pumpkins and all sorts of stuff growing out here. In the fall, the school kids come and pick up their pumpkins. It's a really cool place. You need to stop in here. All right, we're back from the orchard and it's time to start preserving the cherries that we picked. And while I was gone to the store to get sugar, etc., mom was busy in the kitchen. So mom washed and sterilized a bunch of jars. And now we've got a box of cherries that she just brought up. And they'll go into the sink and we'll give them a good wash. And what are we making today? Canned cherries. Canned cherries. And I think I'll start um, pitting some cherries as well for, uh, not freeze-drying, dehydrating and also freezing. 
we'll get to busy working. So these ones we were able to pick. We didn't have to pick stems on it, so we're not having to pull stems now. And mom's just giving them all a good wash. It's amazing how much dust gets on those. And then she's gonna fill up jars here. These are actually the perfect size for canning. Uh, we like to do just little jars. Um, it either gives you a meal or half a jar for dessert. So we'll see how many jars mom cans up and I'm just gonna grab a peach to eat and then start working on pitting cherries. This is what ripe cherries look like that you want to can, that they're nice and juicy and dark red inside. <laughs> then she ate it. There she got so far. I gotta get some of these cherries before she cans them all. So last fall I bought this Starfruit uh, cherry pitter and I think it does five at a time. So now we're gonna give it a workout and see how it works. So here's what it looks like. And you just put your cherries in, whoops, put your cherries in. <laughs> And then push down and it will catch all the cherries in there. I just gotta give it a good wash and we'll see how it works, hoping it works well. So it actually does six cherries at once, so I'm glad about that. I'm just gonna grab some cherries and start this process. So that's how many jars mom has done right now. So she's hogging the sink so I can't wash any cherries, but she's almost done with those. And then we'll get this one washed and I'm just gonna go downstairs and grab another box. So what mom does so she can get closer to the sink is opens up the door, takes everything out from underneath and then she's able to slide in there as if she's at a table or a desk and we're getting more. So right now mom's getting some cherries for me to pit and she's just sorting through all the cherries. We tried to do that as we were picking but you always you know, you miss some. So she's just double checking, making sure they're clean. And I think she's only got four more jars that she's gonna do, at least for now. And we'll get these done today and I'll get as many as I can get pitted. pitted. We'll freeze and get some in the dehydrator for overnight. Never done that before, so I'm really looking forward to what the dehydrated cherries are gonna be like. So those are our two jobs today. Get the cherries canned get them pitted, get some frozen and some in the dehydrator. So mom, what did you think of those clusters? I've never seen anything like it before in my life. Yeah. I could not believe it. There were so many cherries, it was just amazing. And I picked cherries many times, I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, just... quite the harvest. That is for sure. Of course, I just sat down to start doing cherries and Missy decided it was time to go outside, but she's gonna be out of luck. So all I'm gonna do is put the cherries in here. Probably take me a little bit longer. I'm gonna go stem side up and let's see what happens. Sure faster than doing one at a time, that's for sure. And there they go. I think we got them all. One thing about pitting cherries, it always takes time. So, it's, oh, they're there on top. But it's faster than one at a time. So I'm just gonna continue doing this and we'll see how many we freeze today. So I've got a bowl here that I can throw pits in as well. And what I'm hoping to do too is make a cherry pie. Love cherry pie. And I have never ever made a homemade cherry pie. So, Mom, have you ever made a homemade cherry pie? Yeah, with sour cherries. But not with fresh cherries? No. Nope. Okay, so it'll be a first for both of us. Mom said she's made cobblers, and so, but we both really like cherry pie, so we'll make a 
fresh off the tree, cherry pie. So mom got the 25, what, these are pints, right? Mm -hmm. 25 pints of cherries and she's just going to make up the simple syrup sauce, is that what it is? The simple syrup for them, uh, put that in and then get the lids on them. And I'm gonna wash cherries. So mom's just adding the syrup to the cherries. Now how much water and how much sugar? Uh, just over a quarter of a cup to two cups of water because we don't like it very sweet. So a quarter cup of sugar to two cups of water? Mm -hmm. And it's hot, right? Yes. Okay, so this is hot. Ah. You, <laughs> you don't wanna fill it that full. Um, <laughs> Most people do it two to one. Two, uh, one cup of sugar to two cups of water? Yeah. Yeah, we just don't like ours that sweet. I mean, the fruit's got, is sweet anyhow. So um, it's hot water, so when you put it into the hot uh, water bath, the jars won't break. So mom's just gonna fill these all up, put the uh, lids on them, finger tighten the rings, and into the pot they will go. And I'm going back to pit and cherries. Okay, so mom's just taking the lids out of the water. So mom boiled them for three to five minutes. And what that does is it softens up the, the rubber that's on the lid. And that way when they seal, it'll sit, stick to the top of the glass. And you'll hear the jars pop. It's always great when you hear the jars pop. What happened? Forgot to wash all the white bowl lids off. Oh, yes, and that's really important. When you're putting in um, the sugar water, you wanna make sure and take a wet, cloth and run it around the top of each of the jars otherwise the jars end up being sticky and it's hard to get the lids off so mom's just throwing them back into the pot and this is what canning is like you forget things and you gotta take a step back so she'll continue to do that and we'll check it out when it's ready to go into the pot so back to my big beautiful bowl of cherries and I just wanted to show you what I do when I do this too, it's like I check the bottom to make sure I have a pits because I don't want any pits to go in. And what I'm finding is with this star fruit, which I really quite like, is it doesn't, it's nice and deep. So it really pulls them out. And so like that, it's not a pit, that's cherry. So it's going in to the bowl. And I will check the cherries as we freeze them as well. But I think this has done an excellent. So, this is loose, I check it. That's meat, not pit. So into the bowl it goes. And I just keep continuing to do the cherries. Oh, we're going into this jar, or this canning pot. So in this one, we got a rack on the bottom that keeps them off the bottom. You always need to have something between the jars and the bottom of your pot or canner. So, so mom thinks that she's got a bit of water, too much water in here for the jars, so she's gonna pull some of that out. You wanna go up to just below the ring of the jar. What's the matter? Nothing. That it? So now what she's doing is just that water she took out, she's just adding it back in so it is just below the ring. Now what do you do? You bring it up to a boil. Yeah, and turn it down so it's this low boil for 10 minutes. Yeah, so mom only cans the cherries for, or has them at a boil for 10 minutes. We do not like mushy fruit. We'll check in once they're done. Okay, so the bell's been going. Or <laughs> letting us know the time is up. So mom's just wiping the water off the top. She doesn't burn herself as she takes these out. And then what we got over here is just cardboard. And that's where mom's gonna put them.
there we are, 25 pints of cherries. So the candy, so that's all the candy you're doing cherries this year, right? Yep. So that's it for canned cherries for this year. So we'll keep working on different ways of preserving. Okay, so I've got all the cherries pitted that we're gonna pit today. And these are for freezing. I think I mentioned it before and dehydrating. So that's my next step to just get them laid out on cookie sheets. I'm gonna put them on parchment paper and I'll show you that and then we'll get them in the fridge and freeze them. Once they're frozen, then we'll put them into Ziploc bags and in the freezer. All right, so what I'm doing is putting cherries on parchment paper on a cookie sheet. And then I'm just taking a uh, baking wrap. Huh. Might squash them a bit, that's okay. Putting my next one on top of that. And then filling that full of cherries. And the parchment paper just makes it easy for them to release. They're not sticking to the cookie sheet. We did the same thing with our raspberries. And then once they're frozen, we just put them into um, ugh, Missy, Cherry. Right here. Missy, there's right here. I dropped one. Missy got it. So um, once they're frozen, like I said, we put them into cottage cheese containers. And then they just freeze like little marbles. And they're good to go. All right. I think I'm going to do one more layer. So I'm just going to go grab some more parchment paper and a cookie sheet. Okay, so got three trays of them. We'll put those in the freezer. There's nothing like frozen cherries, it's like little popsicles. But before when I've frozen them, they've always had the stems on them. So this time we're freezing them without stems. Then we can throw them into our baking, cherry pie in the middle of the winter. Uh, it'll taste like a fresh cherry pie. So I'm just gonna shove those in the freezer. All right, so I pulled out my dehydrator. I've got the trays and I'm just gonna Lay the cherries out. We're gonna try them at, you think I need to cut them in half? Okay, we're gonna cut them in half. That's gonna take a while. And I'm just gonna slice up all the cherries and then we'll put them on the tray. So I will do this and show you what it looks like when I get them on the tray. <laughs> Missy has escaped the house. Missy. She wants to go outside and Missy. play. You want a cherry? Oh, and she's being bribed with a cherry. You want a cherry? Come on. Missy Daddy likes cherries. Have a cherry for you. <laughs> Come on, Daddy. Missy. 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 Missy, cherry. Missy, want a cherry? Oh, yeah. Missy wants a cherry. Hold on. Just watch. Here. Where is she? Missy, you want a cherry? Oh, yeah. Fed the dog, washed my hands, now I'm back at it, except mom beat me to it. So well, two of us will get in here, it shouldn't take too long. Really looking forward to this, have not had homemade or home dried cherries before. So as soon as we get this done, like I said before, we'll show you the next steps. Mom and I got all the cherries sliced and now I'm just going to lay them out and I'm laying them rounded side down. I think that'll help them dry out better. And I'm just doing like every other square in mine, I'm putting a cherry, because then that gives some sort of a space that I'm easy for me to follow. So I'll just keep doing this.
I've got all the cherries in here and I'm just gonna get it set to go and we want temperature first and we go, ah set there we go and we want 65 degrees and set that one and we're going to start off at 12 hours and then take a look and see how it's doing and it'll just kick on now You'll have to check back on my next cherry video to see how these have turned out in the dehydrator. So stay tuned for that one. Hi everybody, so that's it for part one of preserving our cherries. Our next video is going to be cherry jelly, cherry juice. I'm going to dehydrate some whole cherries and we're going to freeze some more. But be sure to click that notify button so you can see the next ones. And if you're looking for cherries, be sure to go to Trout Creek and visit Blossom Fruit Stand and pick up some cherries from them. Uh, especially for preserving, they have like buckets for sale at a great price. So go check them out. And thanks for watching and be sure to watch the next one. So we'll get that one done and posted in a couple days. Take care everybody and bye from My Mini Homestead.